Hi everyone, welcome to week 12. Now that we've seen all the symbols that we're going to be using in our system of logic, we can generalize over them. And we're going to begin by looking at the notion of what it means to say that our logic is first order. The way to do this is to contrast our system of logic with zeroth order, or propositional logic on one hand, and with second order logic, which quantifies over predicates and which we won't be dealing with on the other. So up to now, we've been speaking of FOL as first order logic. And I want to make a brief video about what it means to say that a logic is first order. In a first order logic, our quantifiers range over objects. We're pretty free about what these objects are. They can be mathematical objects or books in a library or chairs in the world. But the point is that they are ordinary objects in our domain of discourse. This is contrasted with, in case you're wondering, second order logic in which quantifiers can range over properties. These are the things that we pick out with our predicates, things like being large. So for instance, in second order logic, we could say something like, there exists a property such that our object denoted by the constant A has that property. We're not going to do second order logic in this course, but it is a very interesting subject of study because it deals with these quantifiers that can range over variables for objects, but also variables for predicates. Finally, there's zero or zeroth order, which has no quantifiers at all. This is the Boolean and conditional logic that we've seen so far, but it does have logical operators and sentence letters. So this is the kind of logic that we're writing, for instance, if P then Q, or sometimes you'll see Greek letters used like phi and psi, and that sort of thing. So what puts the first order in first order logic is that our quantifiers range over objects. And this is going to be an important thing to keep in mind in what follows because we're going to be talking about tautologies in first order logic specifically.